Stunning attack by a lion at a California wildlife sanctuary that left a 24-year-old intern dead. She was in the cage at the time it happened, and authorities are trying to figure out why this morning. And ABC's Cecilia Vega has the very latest from Los Angeles. Good morning, Cecilia. Amy, good morning. Boy, what really happened inside this park remains a mystery. Something caused this lion to snap and turn on this intern. Her family tells me she was so new to the job, she wasn't even supposed to be inside the cage. This morning, a team of investigators is trying to figure out what made the lion turn on Diana Hansen in this wild animal park near Fresno Wednesday. The lion has been taken care of. Police say the attack began around 12.30. The 24-year-old intern, who had just two months on the job at Cat Haven, was inside an enclosure with this four-year-old African lion named Couscous. Another park worker frantically tried to distract the cat as it mauled Hansen, but nothing worked. Less than 30 minutes after Hansen had entered the cage, sheriff's deputies arrived and began firing, hoping to reach her. It was too late. The lion was shot and killed per our safety protocols. Overnight, Hansen's father spoke with ABC News. Well, she ever got inside the cage, why she would be inside the cage, because I thought she made it real clear that they don't let anybody in the cage except the owner. This morning, the 100-acre private zoo is closed to the public. Later today, state wildlife officials will do a necropsy on couscous, trying to determine what may have caused the attack. This is a situation where you had somebody was too close to a lion. The park's owner said overnight the lion had been raised there since it was just eight weeks old. It even made an appearance on Ellen when it was a cub. Look at those claws. God. This morning, Hansen's father says his daughter never feared working with big cats, even though her parents feared the worst. Anybody who works with cats know that they are wild animals. And they can turn, even on people that are closest to them. So I always had this horrible nagging premonition that I would get a call like this. Now, Diana Hansen was working in this park as a step to move toward a job at a bigger zoo. Her family tells me that she'd been fascinated by big cats all of her life. This was a dream job for her, George, and now, sadly, it has a tragic ending. Oh, it sure does. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Let's get more on this now from our good friend Jack Hanna, Director Emeritus of the Columbus Zoo. And Jack, such a tragedy. And the first question, the father's question, what was she doing in that cage? Well, you know, it's hard to say what she was doing in the cage, George, because she was by herself. And from what I read this morning, early this morning hours, is that her boyfriend or someone was there. Now, uh, you and I both know that sometimes we do things at times when we're trying not to impress somebody, but show somebody what we can do. And I think as they look into this, as I said last night when I heard this, uh, it makes no sense because this facility has been approved. It's a very fine facility from what I've see heard. I've not been there. But no one can go in with a large cat like that. My understanding is there are protocols to have two or three people in there, and they do feed the cat in a different enclosure. So why would you get the key and go in there? Some people, George, have a fascination, especially with big cats, lions especially being the king of beasts, a magnificent animal. Who knows what her thoughts were at that time? Maybe no one will know. But, but just Maybe the only be, one might know might be the boyfriend. Just to be absolutely clear, Jack, this was clearly against the rules and the protocols of this facility. Exactly, exactly. And her father, according to the statement of the LA Times, said she was totally fearless of the animals. This, George, is where you have a train wreck. When we film in the wild, the cats are wherever we work with them. We have a comfort zone of the animal. As you know from Good Morning America, a comfort zone of the animal and comfort zone of us, especially to a large animal like this. And when those comfort zones are crossed, George, there's a train wreck. Obviously, the comfort zone of this line was crossed, and at that point, a lion did what he has to do. What set it off? I don't know. These are wild animals. And these things happen. We have tens of thousands of animals in zoos, and these accidents happen. They're very rare, but this is a tragedy, obviously, for the family and for the owner of that facility. Bottom line, are these sanctuaries worth the risk? Yes, George, they're worth the risk because right now we probably have more lions and tigers in this country uh, in backyards, so to speak. Uh, I'm not talking about those that are reputable breeds. I'm talking about just in backyards for pets and that type of thing than we have probably in all the zoos in the country put together. They are still there, George. We have to have these good sanctuaries to help us because in the zoo world, we can't take all these cats because of breeding programs. So someone has to do this until like the Ohio law, as you know, we passed the most stringent law mm -hmm. in the country in Ohio, Governor Kasich did recently, where we won't have this happen. We had 200 tigers, George, in backyards when this all happened last year. And now those 200 tigers will not be there anymore in about another few months if those people don't make the correct regulations. And, and now we have to have sanctuaries to put these cats in if we have to take them.